everyone and welcome to my channel. This is the Tarot Adventure and I'm very glad to have you here today to enjoy some cozy vibes with me and look at some beautiful Tarot stories together. If you're new here, I'm new also. So I'd be very happy if you decide to subscribe and stick around. I will be posting pick a card readings regularly and my favorite topics are love, relationships, and spirituality. So without further ado, let me introduce you to today's topic. And today we are asking the question, what would your first kiss with your person be like? These are my favorite kind of tarot readings here on YouTube. I just find them very heartwarming, very sweet. And to go with the sweetness, of this first kiss with your person. Today you will be choosing between four groups which each have their own sweet berry that I picked here near my home. They are all edible berries and they are all unique in their own way and I do enjoy each and every one of them differently. So let me introduce you to the groups. For group one, we have the rowan berry. Let me get a close up here for you. So I hope you can see it. The rowan berry comes from the rowan tree, which is considered a holy tree. And I, of course, ask permission from the tree to pick this little bunch of berries along with some leaves. Next up, Pao Tu, we have the lingam berry. This lingam berry grows wildly everywhere here in Finland. It is a very tart berry that people enjoy eating quite a lot. For group number three, we have the wild blueberry. These are absolutely delicious. They are so delicate. And a great flavor, slightly sweet. And for group number four, we have the Aronia berry. Now these are not fully ripe yet. They can be eaten just like this, but they are very delicious to make jellies and syrups and wines with. So this is group number four. All right, so if you need to pause the video now, take a moment, close your eyes, choose a group, and I will see you very soon with your own group's reading. See you. Hello, group one, and welcome to your reading. The question we are asking today is, how will your first kiss with your special person be like? And don't worry if you don't have a special person on your mind, it can just be your first kiss with your next boyfriend or girlfriend, um, someone you haven't met yet. That's okay. We're just gonna have a little bit of fun with it. It's typically quite a fun reading to do. So you have chosen this beautiful rowan berry that is not fully ripe yet. It's not yet its season. So... This makes me think about how maybe you guys' connection isn't fully ripe yet. Maybe you have just recently met this person and uh, things are yet to take off. You're just building your connection. It might be so, but everything does ripen in its own time. Let's have a look at your oracle card that you chose. Your oracle card is Number 16, the crow and dogwood with intelligence. And I believe you must be quite a smart person. And your person might be also. And they may be thinking of ways to make this happen. Trying to progress the connection in a very logical and rational way. But we'll look at some oracle cards and see how this ties in 
with the rest of the picture. Let's get some oracle cards for you. We will use this beautiful forest theme deck, which I love very much. This was actually my first tarot deck. I said oracle, I'm sorry. So, group one's kiss with their special person. How will it be like? I won't be taking reversals, we're just gonna look at the cards, have a little bit of fun with them. All right, all right. <laughs> I see here a jolly gathering of people, people having fun. You might be at a party, a special event when you kiss your person. Or you might just be in a public place when this happens. You might be out on a date somewhere where there's a lot of people. So we got Eight of Visions, which is the Eight of Cups, I believe, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Cups, I believe, and on the back of the deck we have the Eight of Spells or the Eight of Wands. Let's get a few cards to clarify these and get a better picture. We will be looking at what will be happening before the kiss, what will the kiss be like, and also where will your relationship be headed after the kiss. So what happens after the kiss? All right. Spirit, can we please clarify these cards? Let's clarify the Eight of Visions or the Eight of Cups. And this uh, Eight of Cups to me speaks of um, some kind of situation where there's a lot of naysayers around you. A lot of people who are just kind of bored with life and kind of trying to drag you down. And it might be that some of your friends are disapproving of this connection. They might think that you or your person, for whatever reason, are not made for each other. Uh, maybe they're saying you're out of their league and just trying to discourage you from proceeding but obviously I think you will be going for this definitely and your person will be going for this because we have two aces of wands Look at all that passion and the star. Let's keep shuffling. Group one's first kiss with their special person. How will it be like? Can we add a couple more cards? I'll take this one. And this is the Ace of Athens, which is the Ace of Swords. Oh, two, three cards. Shall we take them all? Let's take them all. See what they're about. The Four of Pentacles. The Nine of Athens, which is the Nine of Swords. And number four, the Horn God, which is the Emperor. All right. And back of the deck we have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Chalices. I hope you can see everything, maybe if we move the cards around a little bit. All right. So, it is quite obvious that you and your person have a lot of passion for each other. You may or may not have hinted at that in the past. 
but the fire is burning very brightly. There is a lot of hope for this connection to work out. I think both of you want it. You guys have a mirrored energy. Even if you don't know it, what you want, they want, what they want, you want. The emotions are very mirrored. It is something quite special. Even though you might have not known this person for long, I think it will be quite obvious when this kiss happens that this is not just a flirt, this is not just a little crush. There is a deep emotion underneath the surface. We have here the Knight of Cups, which is all about emotion. This knight really pursues their love interest very bravely. And I think this will be coming at you out of nowhere. You will not be expecting this kiss. It might not necessarily happen on a date, like an official date between the two of you. You might just be out with your friends or out in public just doing something completely unrelated. I do see a lot of fun, a big gathering. So it might be some kind of party, it might be some kind of night out with a group of friends. It might be someone's graduation, for example. An opportunity to celebrate. And then, out of nowhere, the passion takes over. It just happens. There's this beautiful, inspiring mood. Maybe, maybe it happens at night time. This is what I see with this beautiful shining star. And this mood of being out in the starlight. Perhaps there's twinkling fairy lights. A very romantic mood. And the two of you all of a sudden find yourselves alone, looking at each other. And then there's just no denying it. It just happens. It just happens so effortlessly, so naturally, that the two of you kiss. And I think it starts off soft, but then it builds up and gets very, very passionate. Because there has been a spark here, and I would dare to say that the spark has been there for a really long time. Maybe you felt it when you first saw each other. Because I feel you have been waiting for a long time for this kind of person. Perhaps there have been many in the past who disappointed you. Maybe you have been feeling down for a while because you kept investing in all of these connections and they really led nowhere and there was no love and there was little passion. There wasn't equal give and take. So I feel you have been holding out for a while and this really sweeps you off your feet. It's what you've been hoping, dreaming and wishing for. 
and the feeling is mutual, I would dare say that this person is even falling in love with you, even before the kiss happens. This person is shown here as the emperor. They are someone who is usually in control. They have their stuff together. They are a giver, but very self-assured and very balanced. But somehow when it comes to you, they just let go. I think you will be very surprised to see this side of your person giving in to the passion, having this beautiful romantic moment. This is not something you would expect of them. It's not someone, it's not something they show to the world. Nevertheless, I think they are deep down inside a sucker for romance. And they may be daydreaming about this moment with you quite a lot before it happens. And it is really very special and it is really very spontaneous. Now, there's something that I see here in the future and it's related to your person, the one who is shown as the emperor and we have the Nine of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Somehow I am getting this feeling that after this first kiss, some things will be revealed. I believe that your person, as they are opening themselves up to you so suddenly, will come out to you and tell you of the feelings they've been having. They will let it all out. They will tell you when it all started, for how long, and how you have been on their mind, and how beautiful they find you, and all of these things. They will just come out and be very clear and let you know that they want this to be a relationship, they want to be serious about this. They really want something meaningful with you. And since this, this is so unusual of them, it may be that afterwards, after the two of you go home, and the next day, they will kind of snap out of it and all of a sudden get very anxious with the Nine of Swords. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Was I really stupid to say all of those things? Am I going to be friend-zoned? Um, is this person really into me? I didn't really ask. I just told them everything, everything that I've been feeling, but yet I didn't ask them, do they really want this? Uh, are they also interested in our relationship or weren't they just having some fun? And I feel that your person might all of a sudden become quite protective, quite guarded. They will really put their guard up. They might put a bit of a wall up. And 
it might make you quite confused. The Seven of Cups usually can be a card of confusion. It is not necessarily so in this particular deck, but in association with these cards. I think you might experience some degree of confusion as to why your person is behaving this way. After all of the things that they told you and after showing you all of this affection and all of this passion and tenderness, what is going on with them? But it is only that They are afraid of being, being vulnerable. It's not who they usually are. So when they let their guard down, they are also quite scared of being hurt. So I feel that your person might need quite a bit of reassurance on your side. And also an honest conversation about what's going on and really if there were any other people around, other people who saw your kiss and people who maybe weren't so happy to see your kiss, I feel that you really need to distance yourself from them regarding this topic I feel that this special moment that you had needs to be kept private without filling in anyone else on the details just until you clear things up with your person and see where you both stand so that they can truly open the door to their heart, to them, to you. Uh, when it comes to when this kiss might happen, I see spring, early summer with the dandelions. I see early autumn here. This is a harvest card, so of course, this can all be different depending on which hemisphere you're living on, but if you're in the northern hemisphere, I would think around the month of September. And May, but this can all be different again depending on the seasons where you live. Let's get some tea leaf oracle cards for a few more details. Fair man. So, dealings or relationships with a man with blonde, grey or white hair. So, I don't know if you are this man or your person is this man, but if this confirms something to you, then it might be this fair man that you're dealing with. Lobster, financial pinch, and December. So, all right, we got one more timeline card, and this might also happen in December. I'm getting this thought. Of course, I do not live in the US, but I know of a restaurant called the Red Lobster. Is that so? So anyone watching from the US can confirm or not. But it might be happening there or after you have visited this particular place. Let's get some more oracle cards for you. What else is there to know about this first kiss between group one and their person? Alright, Moonlight. I'm gonna keep 
see this here. So again, it might be happening at night in a beautiful romantic atmosphere. And there's this fairy symbolism already three times here. So I'm thinking about fairy lights. I'm thinking about being somewhere close to nature in the forest. I'm thinking about some kind of costume party, perhaps. I'm thinking being near an old castle. Some parties can happen at castles. And this could also be meaningful for some people. It may very well happen under a beautiful full moon. One more card please for group one. First kiss with their person. One more card please. Group one. So wants to come out into the unknown. Right, so definitely it's gonna be so spontaneous. You guys haven't talked about your feelings at all before it happens, but then under the moonlight, under the starlight. Magic comes to life and both of you are just in awe of this beautiful moment and you look into each other's eyes and then you just go for it into the unknown. You don't even stop to wonder whether this will work or not. You're just going with the flow and going for it, going in for the kiss and it's beautiful and it's everything you have ever dreamed of it's absolutely magical and it probably gives you shivers down your spine it is so special it's like a scene out of a movie and i'm very happy for you group one let's get a couple more oracle cards all right what is this angel of balance more card oh. <laughs> I just heard that there's gonna be equal give and take so you're going in for the kiss or your person is going in for the kiss and then the other person re reciprocates they come back to to kiss you and hostilities and it's interesting that the card of hostilities is landing on this side where we already talked about the difficult situation and maybe some naysayers, some people who don't want to see you happy. So my advice here would be to be really quite private about all of this because there may be some people out there who don't want to see you and your person together and they want to see you happy. And they may, may be coming at you after this, if they see it. I don't know if this is some kind of ex or just some friends who aren't really friends to you, something like that. Just be careful. Don't let others ruin this special thing for you. But yes, group one, this is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, do consider to subscribe and stick around for more videos. And I will see you next time. Bye! Hello, group two, and welcome to your reading. Today we are asking the question, what will your first kiss with your special person be like? If you don't have any person in mind, that's okay. It can be with your future person, your future boyfriend or girlfriend, just your future kiss with someone you don't know. That's okay, we're just gonna have some fun with it, see what comes out. So you chose this beautiful lingonberry, 
which grows wildly and it's such a giving berry. It's just everywhere. There's so much of it and you can pick some and store it for the year ahead. I'm just gonna put it here. It's a beautiful red color. And let's have a look at your oracle card first and then we'll get some tarot for you too. So your oracle card is the wolf and rose hip, guardianship. Put it up higher so you can see it. So this card speaks to me about protection. I feel that your person might be very protective of you. Mm. Wolves are pack animals and they really look out for each other. So you and your person might belong to a group. You might be doing something really special together, something quite interesting, I don't know. Um, something is coming to my mind, but it's not something that I have experienced personally, but I know a lot of people do it. Um, cosplay and going to conventions and um, a lot of people enjoy that very much and they have their own groups of people who the same interest and they they interact and they talk about it a lot and this is just a weird example that just popped to my head but yes I feel like you and your person might be doing something quite interesting and quite special together. You might have shared interest and they might be quite protective of your friendship and the group that you belong to. But yes, let's get some tarot now and see how it all ties in together. So, look at this beautiful deck. is also my first deck and I know it by heart. Uh, meanings can sometimes be a little bit different from the usual Rider way tarot but I love it so much and I think we're just gonna have some fun with it. We won't be taking any reversals I'm just gonna interpret the cards intuitively and see what comes out for you guys. So, group one and their first kiss with their special person. I said group one, but I meant group two. Okay, I need to move on from... I need to move on from group one. Let's clear the energy a little bit. I don't think any messages are overlapping so far, but I was still in that headspace for a little moment. So, group two, group two, and their person, their first kiss. Let's go. So, we have the oldest one, which is the Hierophant, and we also have the Weaver of Boons, which is the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful, abundant queen. Let's see. Could that be referring to you? Group two. We've got several cards pop up. All right. So we have the black shock, which is death in traditional tarot. We have the nine of swords, which is the nine of challenges here. And we also have the wide world, the world card number 21 and then on the back of the deck we have the four of swords. Let's get another deck to clarify all of these messages for group two's first kiss with their special person. How will it be like? What will be happening before? How will the kiss itself be like and what can they expect from the relationship? Afterwards, 
when I look at the Hierophant card here in this deck it does have a beautiful meaning of this ancient tree of knowledge that holds all of the stories of the forest and I think that the story of this Priscus will be one worth telling. We have here the King of Athames, which is the King of Swords. We have the Moon and the Eight of Athames, which is the Eight of Swords. All right, let's get a couple more clarifying cards and then we will start to talk about it. This came out in group one's reading. Mm. Group two's first kiss with a special person. What will it be like? Group two's kiss, beautiful, the ten of pentacles. And then on the back of the deck, the six of chalices, which is the six of cups. This is really wonderful energy. But there's something about it. There's some kind of insecurity. Let's look at it. Hmm. I get the feeling that you and your person might go back a long way. You may have known each other for quite some time and they are a stable figure in your life. Someone you can rely on. Someone almost fatherly. They may be a little bit older than you or if they are not older they are certainly very responsible and they look after you. They may drive you home or message you asking whether you're okay. And this is all in the realm of friendship. This is outside of your romantic connection. This happens way before your first kiss. With this card of guardianship, I really do feel like this person is someone who you trust deeply, who always has your best interest at heart and who will always stand up for you if you are in trouble. Now, the deeply held secret here is that they very much admire you. They see you as this beautiful Queen of Pentacles who has it all. She is abundant, she is nurturing, caring. I really do feel that as much as this person looks after you, you give that back through affection, gentleness, tenderness, caring. And I think that in their heart there is a beautiful romantic feeling growing. But they are quite scared of this transformation. They are quite scared of what might happen if they reveal themselves to you. They are truly, absolutely terrified before this first kiss because they do get the feeling that it could go both ways. It could either lead to the ending, the absolute ending of your relationship, of your connection, or it could lead to a perfect fairy tale ending to basically their dream come true basically a long-term relationship something that you can keep on building upon because you do have 
the solid foundation, you do have everything you need to move forward together in life. And I think this kiss will be quite innocent. I'm getting the feeling that it might be almost like a game. Because they're so scared, they are absolutely terrified of making this step to actually open up to show you all of these cups of love. And now I'm really sorry, but my light died, so hold on a moment. I will try to do something about it and come back. All right, I do hope that it's bright enough to continue the reading just like this. I was really in the flow getting this uh, first kiss of yours pieced up, so I hope that you're okay with the slight change in scene. But yes, this person really wants to show you all of their cups of love and emotion and I'm, I'm hearing the word endearing, affection, they, they are really very fond of you and it's not necessarily something quite physical, although of course physicality is an aspect in any relationship, but most of all there's a lot of love and a lot of, a lot of trust, a lot of really beautiful, pure and uh, childlike emotions that this person wants to give to you. But they are so scared of the outcome. They are so scared because this is what they want with you. That feeling of completion. That feeling that the world is your oyster. You guys could go anywhere, do anything together. But they are very scared of an ending here. So this is why I feel that this kiss might be quite playful, in a sense. For example, if you and your friends are playing some kind of dare game and they ask someone to give them a dare to kiss you for some kind of innocent reason and then in that way they hope you would see that there is something more in their heart they are hoping you would enjoy that and you would come forward to them. It is a little bit silly, it is a little bit childish. Let's get some more information about this first kiss because there was a lot of backstory here. Definitely a lot of details about where the two of you stand, but not so much about the kiss itself. I think, <laughs> I think your person will work very hard at this kiss so that you enjoy it. I think they will be doing their research, try to perfect their technique so that you enjoy this first kiss. And I do you see it happening when you are with a group of people, maybe your gang, and maybe some of your friends are in, are in on this, uh, trying to help your person make this happen. See here, they are doing a little spell, conjuring up something, conjuring up a perfect opportunity for a kiss. Your person might have it all planned for a long time. They don't know how to communicate clearly. 
this is quite strange because these very two cards came out for group one but let's keep keep them anyway so yes your person doesn't know how to communicate all of this and they're just very scared so they might be enlisting the help of their buddies to figure out a way how can I arrange make this opportunity happen with group two and the five of swords Back of the deck, the page of wands. I think your person has some budding passion for you. Initially, this love started off as very platonic, but now the feelings are growing and the anticipation is growing. And I think this is what pushes them over the edge. And they don't know how to handle all of, all of this passion, but they know they want something. They do want to be victorious. They are really hoping for something more. <laughs> oh, they're just tired of flicking their wand all alone. I had to say that. Um, but I do think that this will be the fuel for what they have planned. And you're gonna see right through it. You're gonna realize this is no game. It's gonna be an aha moment. Oh my goodness. You do have a crush on me. And you might be quite straightforward about it, which might intimidate your person very much because they feel like oh maybe maybe i don't have so much to offer you and they just now realize oh what have i done but i feel i don't have enough to offer group two um i'm just coming forward with this silly kiss that is almost like a game and group two deserves better and i should really make more of an effort for this that was judgment <laughs> oh they might really feel very judged after this so they jump into it thinking it's a good idea but all of a sudden they realize oh my goodness so what next i have planned it so well up until now but what next what happens next? And I think at this point the ball is in your court and you do have the power to clear up the air and really get this person to open up and truly open up yourself because you will know right away. You will know right away and then with that thought in your mind then you can decide you can really decide the course of this relationship whether you would rather keep it platonic have the beautiful childlike feelings for each other enjoy each other's company have fun be playful or would you rather grow it into a proper committed relationship But group two, you know this best. I don't think your person will be brave enough to tell you, but they are hoping for this. But are you hoping for this also? Let's get some tea leaf fortune cards for you. 
Please, can you tell us more about this case of group two and their person? All right, we have four four messages coming through here. We have dog barking. Advice from a friend. I think some of um, your person's friends are getting involved. I think they might be very frustrated. Um, Sorry, group two. The camera stopped recording. Uh, it seems like all the technical difficulties are popping up in your reading, but it's okay. We will just pick up where we left off. I took a moment to organize your tea leaf cards for you. So we've got dog barking advice from a friend. And it is quite clear that your person might be asking for advice from friends on how to proceed because they are frustrated oh it's like they have all of this loving emotion just dripping through little by little and they are impatient they don't want to give just bits and pieces of it they want to give it all and the diamond speaks of a gift and I don't know if your person has prepared some kind of gift to you. Maybe this is a special occasion. Maybe it is your birthday or maybe it's Christmas or Valentine's Day, something like that. And they have something prepared for you, but it could also be something quite metaphorical because they are giving you their heart through this and will you receive it and maybe you do have the same kind of gift to give to them and little do they know this may be the elephant in the room and no one is expecting it but the feelings are mutual perhaps this is what's happening that even though the two of you are good friends and laugh and hang out and do all sorts of things together but the elephant in the room is that you have mutual feelings maybe and they might get revealed at this point right after the kiss maybe as soon as the two of you are alone or maybe through a text message later, maybe through a phone call. Hey, you know what? That moment when we kissed, that was for real. It wasn't just a game for me. I'm sorry I have to tell it like this. But how do you feel about it? Please let me know. I'm dying a little bit on the inside. My eyes are tearing up because there's a lot at stake for this person. And now that they have revealed themselves, there's no turning back. They need to know. They need to know. How do you feel about this? And are you gonna cut ties with them? They are really scared of that. But really, they must know. Let's get some more oracle cards for you. Please, Spirit. All right, we got two jumping out at us. Number 42, wide open. And number three, wizard of awareness. Let's put them here and here. I hope you can see everything. I think you might be able to see. Your person is wide open after this. There is no more hiding. They have been hiding for so long. And observing you. Really trying to be aware of every little move. Of everything that you said or did. And analyzing. Analyzing a lot. 
trying to figure out whether they should take the chance, but now that they did, they're wide open. They need to know where the two of you stand. They need to know about how you really see this relationship and if there is any potential for growth because they're all about it they are really quite certain of what they want they want this to grow and blossom and bear fruit let's get a couple more oracle cards please spirit or group two and their person, their special person their first kiss How would it be like? I would be curious to know a bit more about the actual kiss. I think we talked a lot about feelings and about their past and their chakra. Archangel Pamela, I think. Am I pronouncing that right? I have no idea. Number 31, door to value. That's interesting. Let's get one more. They might act very confident. Remember, they have studied and perfected their technique. And they might be showing off a bit with this kiss. A few of their tricks. Angel of Strength. Mm. Might be quite intense. Quite passionate. Really, if giving, given the chance, and it's not just going to be a little fluttering kiss, it's going to be all over the place, very strong, the person might hold you very tightly. This is going to open some doors to them. This is going to wake them up to their own inner strength. That, hey, oh my god, I just did this. I can't believe I did it. I can't believe that I was able to make this first step. They really don't see themselves as initiators, I believe. So when they finally make this decision, and when they finally go for it, regardless of the outcome, it is going to be a big boost to their ego. Oh wow, I was brave enough to do it. They will be pinching themselves. They are going to start to know their self-worth, especially if the feeling is reciprocated especially group two, if you do feel the same way about them. This is going to give them a huge confidence boost. They're going to start seeing themselves in a new light. They're going to start to acknowledge their qualities, their strengths. I think group two, if you give this relationship a chance, this person is going to grow into something really amazing. They're going to grow from a page, almost childlike, to a king. And you are going to love that transformation. Oh wow, this has been a very interesting reading. Thank you so much for letting me do this reading for you. It was really interesting and really fun. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing. This is a brand new channel. It would be lovely to see it grow. But until next time, take care. See you. Bye. Hello, Group 3, and welcome to your reading. 
Today we are asking the question, what will your first kiss with your special person be like? Of course, you don't have to have a particular person on your mind. This can be also your first kiss with your next significant other, your next life partner, or even just a surprise first kiss with someone. It can be just fun like that. We chose this beautiful wild blueberry, absolutely delicious, packed with antioxidants, extremely healthy berry. And also you chose this oracle card that we will look at before we get your tarot, just to get a feel for your particular reading. So let's see group three. You got the bobcat and blackthorn with patience. So what I'm getting from this it, is that it might take a while between the time that you and your person start to develop feelings towards each other to the time when you finally get to come together into union and have this first kiss. So we will get the tarot with more information about that and see if we can paint the picture of what your story will be like and also what this beautiful first kiss will be like. So please, Spirit, please tell us about group three and their first kiss with their special person. What will be happening before the kiss? How will the kiss be like? We would like to know all of the details. And then also, what happens after the kiss? How will their connection grow from there? Please, Spirit, group three and their special person. I want to know everything about their first kiss. I also want to know about their story. What happens before the kiss and what happens after the spirit group three and their first kiss with their person we have here so far the world the council of animals which is judgment we have the nine of challenges which is the nine of swords and then we also have another nine which is the nine of cups nine of visions and in this deck in particular means, it means that a wish is granted. We have here suspension, which is the hangman, and the folly, which is the tower. On the back of the deck we have beautiful two of visions. The soulmate card. I don't use this word very easily. Not that I have a problem with it either, but it could be the case, at least with you and your person, that you are either soulmates or divine counterparts, twin flames. Speaks of the beautiful, deep spiritual connection in which you know, you both know, you both have an awareness that the other person is your better half. There is a mutual understanding and depth that goes beyond words. We have here the Queen of Cups, we have the King of Swords. Let's get a few more cards to clarify. We have, I think these are the cards. We have the Battle Wagon, number seven, which is a chariot. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Queen of Wands. A lot of queens here. We're just missing one queen. Right, it's the Queen of Swords, right. And 
at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of wands all right let's see it would seem like to me that your person is right on the brink of completing the life cycle they are taking a very good hard look at themselves and really being very diligent about it. They are in a period of growth within their lives. But with growth sometimes come growing pains and a certain degree of anxiety because sometimes we are headed in a certain direction and it's like a whirlwind keeps taking us forward and sometimes we don't have enough time to adapt and adjust and I'm getting the feeling that because of this your person is quite wary of getting involved with someone getting into a new relationship but then something makes them change their mind completely you see during this whole period of transformation which could be anything it could be as simple as them completing their studies or trying to grow their career, or trying something completely new, starting a business. They have put their love life on standstill. They are not interested because they are in a sort of shield and cocoon. All of this change it's almost too much and one more thing the potential of some kind of heartbreak would be massively destabilizing for your person so it would take a very strong reason to make them change their mind but I believe the moment you enter their lives, it's almost like a wish come true. Because look, you are this person who embodies everything that they could have ever wanted. All of the qualities that are desirable in a significant other are to be found in you. You have a lot of love to give, but in a very dignified way. You are not the person to chase, but here you are holding your cup of emotion ready, ready to give it the person who is worthy and yes you are a very loving person and you're also very nurturing you might have a very stable material situation you are independent you have all of the things you need in life and also you bring quite a lot of passion to the table and you are not afraid to be your own unique self be confident in your skin It would seem, group three, that you are really the whole package for this person. And they can see in you that feeling of completeness. They can see in you a kind of inspiration. They can see in you where they are headed. They are headed on this road of self-improvement. 
becoming their truest and most authentic self. And they look into your eyes and they see all of that. And they are inspired and they are in awe. And they are in love. Here we have the Empress card. And yes, it's like looking into a mirror. When you find someone you resonate with to such a degree, it is like looking into a mirror, looking into their eyes and seeing your own thoughts and your own feelings reflected perfectly at you. So, this is the kind of circumstance leading up to your kiss, leading up to the beginning of this connection. I feel that this may be a lot more than a kiss. But I would like to know now about the kiss itself. How would that be like for group three and their person? Let's get a few more tarot cards to get an idea. We will try to look past the usual meanings of the cards and try to read them intuitively and get some kind of clues. This is the Knight of Swords and we have here the Queen of Wands again. They will be charging right at you. You are lighting a fire in them. They see the passion in you and they want to follow, they want to come straight at you. I'm getting a feeling that they might ask you out on a date. This is something I see in your group that I haven't actually seen in group one or two. I think with them it was a little bit more spontaneous. It's certainly not happening during a one-on-one -on -one date. But here I see that it's just you and your person. You're alone together. Perhaps you drive somewhere in their car, somewhere where you can be alone. You can talk about things, just the two of you. Here we have the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Let's get a couple more cards. Just by looking at the imagery here, you can see that all of the trees are void of leaves. So I think this first kiss might be happening during winter at the time where there are no leaves in the trees wherever you live, whatever time that might be. Get a few more cards, please, Spirit. The Ace of Visions, which is the Ace of Cups. Let's put it here. And this will really be like a dream come true. It's going to be exactly how you imagined it. It will feel like a celebration. It will put a smile on your face. This kiss will be very gentle everything about it, the way your person will hold your hand, the way they might caress your cheek and lean in slowly and start very slowly at first, but then become more passionate. And I think that you will instill this kind of passion. You will want more. And you wouldn't be ready to let go. The more
more they kiss you, the more you want to take. It's like you can't get enough of this. It just feels so good and they are being so careful. Get a few more cards. This is really beautiful. Tell me more about this first kiss. And it will really make them feel very empowered. If your person identifies as a masculine, they will really be standing in their masculine power afterwards. We have here the Knight of Wands. And we also have the Forge with Temperance. It will be actually quite difficult to control yourself. You see, you are here depicted in both cards with so much passion. You won't be holding back. I do feel that as soon as this kiss happens, you might want more. You might even let your person know. Maybe this is why we are presented with this powerful masculine energy. I think their ego will be very much boosted to get this kind of response from you. It's almost better than they could have ever expected and they could have ever imagined. And I do think that after this point, you will want so much more of each other. We saw there with the Two of Cups, there's this beautiful feeling of union, of recognition, of intensity at a spiritual level. It's beyond words. It's just the look in your eyes. It brings you joy. And it brings you comfort and it brings you peace. And you really feel very strongly for each other. Group 3, I'm going to get you now some Oracle cards. Let's see. What else can we know about this kiss? And the connection. Moving forward, we have... Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming, usually coming from some something you did in the past. But well, that's interesting. It feels almost unrelated, but in a sense I can connect this to the theme of the reading. And just say that your patience has not been in vain. You have invested some time and effort into this connection and your person recognizes all of this. And this will lead to having a strong foundation for the future. And everything that will invest it will come back to you tenfold. We have cobweb, protective, protected from negative forces beyond your control. So I do think that there is some kind of angelic protection. It may be that your spirit cards are, hel are helping you in this connection and are guiding you and your person towards each other removing any obstacles along the way. We have dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. It might be that in the past, like we saw, that there were some things that your person was very worried about. But I do believe that they are perfectly capable of cutting through all of the clouds and seeing a better day and you will be part of this. We have 
three affair with your family we have our solid foundation success with effort this is exactly what i was talking about you guys do have a solid foundation i think you do understand each other you get each other you give each other space to grow because trees don't grow that well in the shade but when they are given space for the sun's rays to shine upon them that they will grow beautifully and I think the two of you are emotionally mature enough to give each other space while still enjoying everything that your connection offers and we also here have here mountain road you are on the road to success so if there's some kind of stagnation right now if there is some kind of worry and insecurity spirit is saying be confident because this road that you're on with your person will lead you to success that your wishes are granted it's not that they will be granted your wishes are granted you are on that road you have nowhere else to go you are on your way up and that is beautiful just know right now that anywhere you are it's only uphill that you're going let's get a few more oracle cards for you this has turned into a very beautiful love reading not so much about the kiss but it has everything to do with a very special relationship that the two of you are building it's really a soulmate relationship and it is divinely guided two cards yes we have number 54 encouragement you are getting encouragement for from spirit this is right for you this is what you want and this is what your person wants and we have here spirit of place with number four interesting as the number four is also the number of the emperor card which is the number of stability it's a number of structure and in that sense i feel that both of you find a lot of stability and sanctuary within each other and the place to take roots to grow and develop you remember how unstable your person was feeling going through this intense transformation in their lives something that felt was almost out of your control well i do think that your connection will restore a sense of control, a sense of groundedness and peace within themselves and the strength to move forward with more ease to develop, to heal, to become the best versions of themselves let's get a couple more oracle cards before we end the reading what else does group 3 need to know? about the special start to this connection and about their person about where they are headed I'm starting to lose my voice now it might be about cornucopia well, number 11 this is really beautiful and if you happen to see 11 11 it happens to me quite often just know that you are guided and everything you wish for is granted there's a harvest a whole harvest waited to be reaped and enjoyed by the two of you there are wonderful things ahead of the two of you in the future the 
the sun is shining brightly over your connection. This is all coming up. And it starts here. It starts with all of this that we have talked about. So I hope you enjoy this moment that you have and the wonderful road ahead of you. And if this resonated, please, I would love to know more about your story. If you like this reading, it would be wonderful if you stick around, subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned for the next one. Take care, group three, and see you. Bye. Hello, group four, and welcome to your reading. Today we're asking the question, how will your first kiss with your special person be like? And don't worry if you don't have a particular person in mind, it could just be your next significant other, your next love interest. It could be just a little fun kiss that you share with someone and then go on with your life. It, it could be anything. We're just going to have a little bit of fun with it. I want you to excuse my voice. I think I'm starting to catch a cold. My throat has been a bit sore all day, but I'm determined to get through this. So just a, as a disclaimer, but anyway, you chose the wonderful Aronia berry, which is not fully ripe right now. It will take them two or three more weeks until they all turn this deep indigo color. And then you can eat them raw, or although they are a bit tart, or you can prepare a lot of different things with them, like jams and jellies and drinks. So I will put the berries here to the side for now. And let's look at your card. You have an oracle card and it is number 17. The salamander and black pepper with inspiration. I will put it up here for you to see it better. And I think that this kiss might be something quite fiery and it will make you feel inspired. The salamander is a lizard that loves fire. So I think there's a lot of intensity here. We'll get the tarot and have a closer look at it and then refer back to the card if you feel called to do so. Hey, I will also cleanse your energy the need to. There is a lot of, to talk about with group three and they really had very beautiful soulmate energy. Let's see what comes up for you group four. I'm getting something a little bit more playful. I think it's really fiery. Yes, it will make you feel very inspired if you are a creative person. I know that all creative people crave that in their life, their next source of inspiration. Their next muse. Or perhaps this person will be your next news. I somehow feel called to say will, to speak of the future. This may not apply to everyone, but for some, it may be that you don't know this person so well, or even that you haven't even met this person yet. Either you haven't met in person, or you really don't know who they are. It's someone you haven't met yet, but it is a future love interest. That's really interesting. But we're reading the energy of the whole group. So there can be many different scenarios. So if you do know this person, so feel free to watch the reading we have. The Knight of Swords, Seeker of Challenges. Yes, it's the Knight of... Knight of Swords, and we have the Nine of Boons, which is the Nine of Pentacles, 
we have here the Ace of Spells, it's the Ace of Wands and it is a card of passion. A fiery new beginning, a spark that has been lit. We have here the um, Knight of Pentacles, Seeker of Boons. We have also the Four of Challenges, which is the Four of Swords, and we have the Five of Pentacles. Back of the deck, we have the Two of Challenges, which is the Two of Swords. Let's get some more cards from a different deck. And quite a pile of these. Please, Spirit, tell me about Group 4 and their first kiss with their special person. What happens before the kiss? How would the kiss be like? And what happens after? How will their relationship develop from then and here we have the knight of swords clarified by the knight of swords this galloping brave determined energy coming to you at all costs this person is determined we have the seven of cups with the seven of wands okay Me. Ace of Spells. Hopefully not the whole deck. Goodness. Yes, I will keep this one. Number 15, Nature. Mm. Alright, let's clarify. Let's get two more cards, please, Spirit, about Group 4's first kiss with their special person. We have here the Horn God. God. Which is the Emperor card. And one more, please, Spirit. And we have the Four of Swords again. A lot of the same cards clarifying the initial cards. And we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Really interesting energy. Someone is trying to make a point here. There's a spark here, a spark that has been lit out of nowhere. This may be a case of love at first sight, or at least a very strong attraction. Because this person is coming at you, charging. They have to come get you. They just know. They're interested. There's no denying it, and they want to come at you as the best version of themselves, or they, they at least they want to appear as such. They really want to appear as brave as, and masculine, and they really have a very animalistic nature to them. They are very much in touch with their wild side and you are here beautifully enjoying yourself you have it all you are independent you might feel like you don't need anyone because you're really enjoying every day and you're enjoying everything about your life and a night invading your beautiful home might feel like a little bit inconvenient. Here you have everything sorted out. Everything is so tidy and neat and you know how you want every day to go and you're enjoying it. It's not just about a routine. The process is rewarding to you. You're having a great old time. Exploring, having your own adventures. It's really a beautiful feeling. But hey, Somehow, you are tempted, even with all of these cups filled and your home being great, career, 
going great, friendships, everything. We have a lot of achievements. But somehow there's something very tempting about this night coming at you so fast. Climbing through the window, hopefully not literally. Because they really want you. And they want you to see them as worthy. And I believe that there may be some kind of feelings blossoming. It doesn't start out as such. It starts out as physical attraction. But soon they find themselves catching some feelings. And I do believe they have to sit and meditate over this a little bit. Because it's not something they foresaw in the beginning. It's not something that they necessarily wanted, but here they are, having a good look at themselves. Because, oh my goodness, I wanted this to be a fling. And here they are, this person, group four, is really stealing my heart. And the question here is, can I be this king of pentacles for them? Can I be this stable, worthy person who tends to their needs and keeps them safe and provides them sanctuary? Or Am I better off alone? Back to my burrow. I'm quite comfortable here. The spark is great, but I can do without it. I have my own little fire here. I'm enjoying myself just as much as this uh, nine of pentacles group four. I'm enjoying myself in solitude just as much. And it would take a great effort for me to change, but here I am, having a good look at myself in the mirror, because I'm faced with a choice. And the problem is that transformation will require a lot of effort, because, to be fair, I'm a little bit of a player, right? Your person might not be ready for a serious commitment. It takes effort to build a relationship. But yes, they are considering it. They are definitely thinking about it, group four. Well, this is quite interesting. And it's happened now already with group three that I had to get some extra cards. But yes, again, let's get some extra cards to see what the actual kiss might be like. In what circumstance all right, we have the Fool here, I'm going for it. I'm just gonna try it and see how it goes. We have a lot of the energy here from previous, previous groups. I'll leave this here and I'll just grab a different deck because this one is getting a bit tired, I feel, and it's giving me a lot of the same things. I'll just get a fresh deck and then maybe give it a little quick shuffle and see what kind of messages can we get about the actual kiss. How that will go. Where will it happen? When will it happen? How will the two of you find yourselves there in the midst of this potentially fiery kiss? Alright, we have two cards jumping out. We have the lovers and we also have the moon. It could be under the moonlight. Absolutely. Something will be revealed during this case. Can you tell 
tell us more about group four's kiss. Very special person. I think your person really wants you very much physically. I think that's what might be revealed. Okay. Might want something more than just a kiss. Already on your first date. We have the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Hermit and the Magician. Back of the deck, we have the High Priestess. I do think this kiss is happening sometime at night. I believe your person really wants to make something happen, so they ask you out on a date. And they already have a plan in place. They already have a vision of how they expect this night to go. You see, they have been thinking about this a lot. They have had their moments in solitude, kind of trying to hatch a plan. How to come to you and convince you that they are the ones you want. I believe they will be very passionate about this. They will go about it in a passionate way. They will show up in a very masculine energy. They might be a little bit forceful in the way they grab you. They pick you up. They, they grab your face. They grab your face and they kiss you very passionately. Passionately, it's a French kiss, right from the get-go. My candle has gone out. <laughs> I think just as fast as this person comes into your life, they might disappear. As you can see, this, this man, this soldier, he's almost like a ghost here. See, the woman is very fully formed in flesh and blood, but he's merely a ghost. He's see-through. I think it might be the case for some, and, okay, trigger warning, it might happen. Like your person might ghost you afterwards, or you might want to ghost them, because you didn't really like how they handled it. You were expecting a little bit better. You were expecting a little bit more balance. But here they are, taking everything they can. You kind of saw through this. But you still went with it. You let go. It really did feel very good. But I'm gathering that you yourself would prefer a more traditional kind of rela relationship and you would be interested in a long-term commitment. Meanwhile, your person might be a little bit deceitful, just taking what they can and walking away. And this is a little bit unfortunate, but here, group four, I'm telling you what I'm seeing. I don't like to sugarcoat things. And sometimes the cards are a little bit quirky. They do insist on telling a story. And if I find that I can picture that story very clearly in my head, I will tell it. I think there's a lot of potential for passion here. Quite a bit of potential for heartbreak too. That's
that being said, if you're interested in this kind of casual dating that this person is inclined to pursue, then why not? Why not enjoy the passion? You might like it just as much. I will now get some oracle cards for you. I got the tea leaves for my other groups beforehand, so uh, I will get some tea leaves for you. We have club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will, it says. Have a look. Be very careful, group four. Don't show up to this person in the way that they want to if you're not interested in the same things. Be very careful is all I'm saying because you might find that you are not necessarily on the same wavelength and the things that they want are not the things that you want. Right? And don't put yourself in any kind of dangerous situations. If your intuition tells you that there's something fishy, listen to that. Don't trust this person fully until you've gotten to know them better. We have kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. I would make a plan definitely if the date doesn't go so well plan to go home, have someone call me, or meet a friend somewhere, right, something like that. It's good to have some kind of plan. Pig, beware of greed. You're in this person. I want to take more than you have to offer at the time. Horse, short journey, okay? Let's get a couple of more good cards. with some more clues or advice. Number 15, One Ring Circus. Okay, I've never gotten that card before. I'd be curious to look into the guidebook and read from there. Just for this particular one. I will get one more still. One Ring Circus. What could that mean? And number 42, wide open. All right, let me get the card book real quick and read about this one ring circus. It says, upright, independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent, capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Okay, I feel that this is relevant. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. All right, so be careful that your energy is shared and that you have boundaries in place and will not let anyone step over them. This is essential. Group four, don't leave yourself wide open. If you're dealing with the wrong people, make sure you have a plan. And make sure you know what you're doing. And you can close the door in time. If something doesn't go as you would expect, as you wish, I'll get just a few more Oracle cards here to close off your reading, the garden and the cave. Try to protect your garden. You have a lot of wonderful things going on for you. And the last thing you want right now is some heartbreak. Walking away. Alright. I don't know what else to say about this. I will leave it open to your interpretation. 
I'm sorry if this has been a little bit heavy, a little bit different from what you expected. I'm just reading what the cards say. And of course, energy can change and people can change. This is essential. Every time we do a reading, we are just analyzing the current situation as it stands. Remember, you have the power to change all of this if you so desire. It is all within you, within your own vision. Every one of your desires can be made true effortlessly if you just commit to a particular vision and you connect with it through your emotions every day. You walk into that emotional space knowing that your desire is yours and it's come true and that will shift every single energy around you to accommodate the things that you want into your life. So don't get discouraged if this got you down, but definitely if you find yourself in a situation like the one we talked about, take care. All right, I will leave it at this. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, do consider subscribing. I will be posting more Pick a Card readings in the future. Now, my voice is about to go away completely. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Bye.